Hey everyone, we're back again with some more live video game hunting. I know it's been a few weeks since I posted, so let's just get straight out there and see what I found. So we just dropped Mrs. Retro Games Ireland off an appointment. We've got 20 minutes to kill. Gonna make a cheeky little stop into one of the better charity shops to see what we pick up. Power of the cheeky stop. I'm not sure how good that footage was. There was someone right beside me rooting through all the books and stuff like that. Uh, but we picked up five PS4 games for five euro each, and one of them was Minecraft. That's going to trade for 25, so it's going to pay for the whole bunch, and we keep them for the collection for free. Yeah, so we hit probably seven or eight charity shops the first couple of weeks, and literally just found one game. It was Call of Duty Ghosts on the 360. Uh, nothing special, just one to put into the collection. But eventually came across a little bundle in one of the better charity shops. Uh, I got Terminator 3 Rise to Machines. These again are all one euro, all complete. And some of these discs, like especially this one, it's, it's like they were never even played, so they'll go nicely on the shelf. Uh, got Time Crisis 2 and Time Crisis 3. A copy of Max Payne 3 on the 360. 
Devil May Cry 4 for the 360. I actually have this already. I think this is probably one of my first ever, you know, complete double ups uh, from doing some video game hunting. So I'll have a look at my other copy. We'll probably do with like a little condition upgrade or something like that and then trade one off. Um, just regular old Devil May Cry for the 360. And then OG Spider-Man for the PS2. So that's another good one to have. Uh, so then, Mrs. Retro Games Ireland, bless her heart, she has the patience of a saint. Uh, she comes into all these charity shops with me when I'm hunting for games, never complains. Um, about a week ago, she was off in a charity shop with her mum, and she spotted a few games on the shelf. She sent me some pictures and said, they're all one euro. I said, just pick everything up. So she got eight games. Um, probably wasn't the most successful hunt. I'll let everyone out there judge how well she did uh, but this was one of the pictures i seen and this is why i said look just pick them all up because i knew this would cover the cost of whatever was there uh, but a copy of need for speed underground 2 on the ps2 which unfortunately was empty so not the best start uh, then america's most wanted ps2 empty pro evo 6 as well Mercifully, someone covered up John Terry's head, but it had a manual, but no disc for that one either. Uh, FIFA 8. Of course, that one was complete. Uh, Splashdown. Empty. Metal Warrior European Assault. Empty. Um, Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. This one had a manual, but I had a copy of Blackside on the 360. Uh, so, we'll take that. We'll give that a play. And look, worst case scenario, we have a few nice little boxes here. Uh, but the last one that she got was a copy of Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 for the 360. And this one is actually complete. So as far as I know, I have a copy of this on the Wii. So we can probably trade this off. Recoup 5 euro, uh, which means for 3 euro, we get to keep a couple of games. And we've got some nice replacement cases, uh, cases there if we need them. So uh, I think she did okay. But I'll let everyone there be the judge of <laughs> how well she really did. Uh, but then the big pickup for the week, uh, this was unreal when I seen these. Uh, like I said in the video, I had like about 40 minutes to kill. Uh, Mrs. Retro Games only had an appointment, so I dropped her off. I had to pick her up, so I had to be over and back from a charity shop in an hour. So I literally, I got in there, I had five minutes to grab these. And of course, it was the one time that like someone was like, on top of me browsing books. And then there was another person buying half the charity shop in the queue in front of me. So I literally just grabbed them and ran. Uh, but five euro each for PS4 games. There's a copy of Blas Blas Blue Central Fiction. Uh, full disclosure: this is disc only. I don't know how well it'll come across on camera, but someone just printed off their own cover and put it in a case. But it's in there. Don't know much about it. We'll pop it in the PS4 and give it a go and see. Uh, Detroit Become Human. Like these are all good titles as well. It's not like they were just sort of cheap, gammy PS4 games. Like they're all good ones. Uh, Sonic Forces, uh, again complete, and this actually came with a few sort of, what was it that said in it, uh, sort of four art cards, so they're all still in there as well, so that's pretty nice, uh, so that's a nice one for the collection, again another one we'll have a game of, uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, uh, delighted with all these, and then the best part of the lot, uh, I did talk about it in the car, but Minecraft, uh, I'm not going to play this. The disc is perfect, we'll have no bother trading that in, and CEX will give me €25 Euro for that. So €25, Euro, we can trade this off and get some retro stuff, and we get to keep these four for the collection for free. So, where should we go? Um, after that, just a couple of little pickups. Um, I bought two SNES games in the retro gaming store. I got Team Park, this is one I had as a kid, so I'd like to have another one for that little collection. And then a copy of WWF Royal Rumble. I'm not sure if I had this one. I think this might have been more one of those games that you always played in the arcade. But just retro goodness. Like, so I'm so happy to have that. Uh, and then just one more game. I picked up a copy of Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles on the Wii. I got that from CEX for a tenner. But it's nicely complete. Uh, sorry if you're hearing a weird noise. This kid's going to put down the records on scooters out there. Yeah, so I just picked this up to have uh, at least one horror game to show off before Halloween. Obviously didn't get around to filming it before that. Um, but other than that, oh, I've got one more thing. I left it in another room. I'll be back. Yeah, so the last thing I picked up was, I got two of these actually, uh, but they're Nintendo 64, the online exclusive uh, wireless controllers. So uh, I did the same with the SNES ones. I got two, I opened one, I kept one in the box. Uh, so I have one downstairs that's charged, but I'm not sure if it's ever even going to get used. 
Uh, 30 euro seems a bit steep to me to upgrade for the N64 and Genesis stuff, but I don't know, maybe someday if the library sort of increases. Uh, but some of the best games that run, I actually have carts for you. You can probably see some of them up there. And I have an N64, so there's really no need. Uh, but I'm not going to get into that big debate. There's a million other videos out there. Uh, so if you want to see what people think about it, go out and look at them. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Uh, probably a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I had plenty of footage, but we weren't really finding that. And so I would have got a bit repetitive just showing myself going in and out of charity shops, finding nothing. Um, but hopefully over the next few weeks, we start picking up a few more bits. I'm sure people start kind of clearing houses out before Christmas and that coming up. So fingers crossed that bodes well for the game hunting. Yeah, so thanks a million to everyone who stuck around this long. And thanks to everyone that subscribed since the last video. Hopefully another couple of weeks and we'll get another one out there for you. Uh, so look after yourselves and we'll see you then. Cheers. Ted, everyone. You saying hello? No? Oh. He's a bit camera shy. <laughs>